Hello there, beautiful, amazing, and gorgeous people. In this tutorial, we will learn how to start a virtual machine. For this tutorial, I will use VirtualBox, but there are other options such as VMware. To download VirtualBox, go to virtualbox.org and click on the Downloads link. Look for the Downloads link that fits your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I will click on the Windows Hosts option. Download the software and install it on your computer. Once you have installed VirtualBox, open it and let's get down to business. First thing you will see when you open VirtualBox is a window that asks you to create a virtual machine. If you don't see this, this window, just click on the new option. Once you're asked to create a virtual machine, enter a name, choose the type and the version. In my case, I will create an Ubuntu virtual machine. Ubuntu is an operating system based off of the Linux operating system. Next, you will be asked to pick the amount of RAM memory you want to give your virtual machine. Please note that the amount of RAM you choose will be taken from your original computer and given to the virtual machine while it is turned on. This might make your original computer not perform so well. It will then ask you about the hard disk option. This is the place where permanent documents will be stored in your virtual machine. In my case, I want to create a new hard disk for my virtual machine. Now you will pick a hard disk file type. Choose the default, which is VDI, and you will be just fine in 99% of the cases. Next, pick how you want the virtual hard disk to behave. The dynamically allocated option allows the hard disk memory to grow as your virtual machine needs more memory. The fixed sized option doesn't allow the hard disk memory to grow. On this step, pick how much hard memory you want to give your virtual machine and where in the original computer you want this information to be stored. Again, leave the defaults and you will be fine. There you go. You've now created the shell of a virtual machine. Now let's get your virtual machine up and running. To do this, click on the start button at the top. Now the VM will ask you for a startup disk. In order to install a virtual machine, you need to have the information of the operating system for the virtual mach machine that was chosen. This operating system information I just talked about usually comes in a file that ends in .iso. I have previously installed the ISO file for my Ubuntu operating system so I will use that. If you would like to also start an Ubuntu virtual machine, then follow the next steps. Go to ubuntu.com, click on download, desktop, and then the download option. Now a page will appear which will ask you if you would like to donate some money to the people that created and maintain Ubuntu. You can skip this page if you wish by going to the bottom and clicking not now. Install the Ubuntu ISO file and when it's done, go back to VirtualBox. Now that you have installed the Ubuntu ISO file and picked it for your virtual machine, click on the Start button. Your virtual machine has officially been started and it should be up and running. Congratulations! Now you will just have to go through a few steps for setting up your Ubuntu operating system. You can choose the default options and you will be fine. The setup options will be things such as your language, how to download updates, how to install the operating system, your location, what your keyboard looks like, login information, and that should be it. Now wait for the whole operating system to complete downloading. Click on the restart option that appears. Wait a few seconds and ta-da! You now have a completely new and shiny virtual machine up and running. That is it for now. I'd love to hear from you guys. How will you be using your new virtual machine? Leave your message in the comment section below. Please don't forget to support me by subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment, and sharing the video with your friends. See you next time!